David Shapiro, Deputy Chair at Sassman Securities, joins me now to discuss these market movements. David, as always, many thanks for your time this afternoon. I've just mentioned in my intro to the markets there that the JSC, not starting off the week on a good footing, dragged down by industrial stocks as well as some of those financials. Uh, some of the other catalysts that you picked up during the t uh, trading day. Well, the miners are coming down quite dramatically, and this has been a trend that we've seen over the last couple of weeks. You know, the iron ore price has come from $230 a ton in around about May, and it's now trading below 100. The Chinese to blame for that. They're cutting back on on uh, on demand, and there's there's reason for that. And also platinum prices, platinum, palladium, rhodium, have all come down uh, dramatically over the last couple of weeks. So our mining sector has been uh, you know, one of the weakest um, areas of our market. And what concerns me, and I'm hooking to what you said about the tourist industry, you know, um, we hope that um, mining would, would offset any weakness that we saw in tourism. Unfortunately, this is going backwards as well. So not a lot to uh, get, uh, you know, to be joyful about on our market. And it's spread through to the rest of the sector. You know, industrials and, and financials also now feeling the pain. Um, the only area that's holding up are some of the small caps where we continue to see reasonable results from the very low levels of the last year, but um, not a nice way. And th there's a lot behind it. There's, there's a lot of worries in global markets as well. You know, we've got a whole laundry list, or I've got a laundry list if you really want to go through it. But unfortunately, I don't think we've got the time. That's right. And I'm glad you bring in that uh, uh, volatility in the commodity prices because I'm assuming it's got something to do with Anglo-American and that share price falling below 500 for the first time since February uh, this year. Yeah, look, Anglo is under a lot of pressure. Um, I saw UBS, uh, uh, you know, a big banker um, and a very, very big wealth manager has downgraded it to sell. Uh, that came out on Friday, but um, you know this morning, uh, Anglo's I think down in in, in Europe about four or five percent. We saw big big sell off here as well, and that's largely around the iron ore and and uh, platinum prices. So you can expect more platinum uh, or iron ore miners to face similar kinds of rating cuts by uh, by analysts, uh, and it's sad because um, you know it was the one area of the market that was holding our economy together. And, uh, you know, we've now seen this big sell-off. But a lot, also, you, you can't, we can't escape what's happening in China as well. The, the ever grand uh, story, the mm. collapse of the, of the big property developer also weighing on sentiment. And also connected to that is the iron ore price. You know, once you start to cut back on building or, or confined building because of the developer, uh, it has a you know it has an impact on demand for steel that are used in buildings, copper and so on. So there's there's so many connected issues that are holding back markets at the moment. David Shapiro, I wish we had a little bit more time to talk through some other movements for today, but we have run out of time this afternoon. Uh, that's David Shapiro of Sassman Securities giving us a wrap of the markets a day that was. Hopefully we'll see some positivity as the week goes on.